industrial hemp is an issue that combines a number of other issues. Unemployment, malnutrition, people living in despicable conditions. How do we help recover tobacco farmers? How do we move away from synthetic pesticides? The sustaining what we are doing at the moment on the planet is probably not possible. She was having severe reactions to her environment, and so we started with the house. I was trying to find a solution for problems with standard insulation and drywall. I just read about a, a, a company in North Carolina that builds houses made from hemp. That sounds like a weird version of the Three Little Pigs. Like, I'll huff and I'll puff, man, and then we'll totally listen to some Grateful Dead bootlegs. It's gonna be really cool, man. All joking aside, you know what? This plant is really amazing. It, it was used widely. George Washington and Thomas Jefferson talked about it. It wasn't really in the history books anymore, so you didn't learn about it in school. 1776. The Declaration of Independence was drafted on hemp paper. 1889, Van Gogh paints masterpieces on hemp canvas. 1942, patriotic farmers plant hemp crop for war effort. 1970, the Controlled Substances Act is signed into law. Industrial hemp is classified as marijuana and farming it becomes illegal. The economics have shifted. Now it's about energy use. And so now these materials are starting to be focused on a lot more. I look at the range of materials out there. I cannot find one to match hemp. I can't find one that has such a low embodied energy, locks carbon in, that has such a low environmental impact, and harvested with minimum inputs in a matter of just a few months. You can separate the fibres, and it's the fibre that goes into loft insulation, car door panels, and it's the woody core that is mixed with lime cement to make hempcrete for construction. There's so many variations on hemp fabrics these days. They're beautiful fabrics that are all very breathable, comfortable, washable. It's just a quality thing. I love hemp seeds. I love them for breakfast, and then they have hemp milk. What makes hemp a superfood is its excellent source of protein. It's the closest balance of essential fatty acids of anything that grows in the land compared to fish. The amount of hemp products you see in Whole Foods and not only uh, natural stores but mainstream stores is light years ahead of what it was like in, in 2000. The claims that uh, law enforcement can't tell the difference are ridiculous. Hemp's being grown in more than 30 different countries where law enforcement has no problem. I really think that once we can grow and put hemp seed in American soil, that it will really unlock a whole wave of hemp entrepreneurship and jobs and dollars. Hemp is hope. It's bringing something that's done it all before back into creating a green future for the planet and helping us all be sustainable on this beautiful earth.